welcome back happy Tuesday so I'm so excited about this video okay it's gonna be a haul of course but I also wanted to kind of tell you about my experience at the makeup show Dallas it was phenomenal I've never been to one of these type of events so it was something very very new to me but I had so much fun fun. I got to meet so many of you guys and so many of my fellow YouTubers that I look up to and I love. I spent, it was like kind of three full days of events. So I spent a lot of time with a few girls. I spent a lot, a lot of time with Lip Gloss Leslie and Laura from Miss Lola Lynn and Dana from Dana Ann or Lolly Dolly. Oh my gosh, those girls were so so amazing. Ah, I was just so excited. So, of course, um, you know, uh, the best thing, the thing that I loved the most about the makeup show was getting to spend some great time with just phenomenal girls. Girls I look up to business-wise, makeup-wise, personally, as mothers and friends and wives, and it's just it was just amazing. So I wanted to say that first of all. And then, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start out with, and I think this is such a funny name. I watched like IMATS hauls and I watched people get their swag bag and I just think that's hilarious. But I guess that's what you call it is a swag bag. So I'm going to start out with that. I'll annotate like right here um, when the actual haul starts and I'm not going to show everything in the bag but I did want to show you guys what they gave us as press or as beauty bloggers. We went to like a um, on Friday we went to like the beauty blogger preview. It was like a special just for fellow YouTubers and also bloggers. So we went to that and they gave us this bag um which it's the makeup forever 30 30 years bag and it was full of stuff i've already taken a lot of it out and i'm just gonna go really quick through what they gave us and highlight some of my very favorites um this item that was in the swag bag i was like do you know how many times I have put that in my Sephora cart online? And it's the NARS Duo. They call it the Contour Blush Palette. And it's in the color Palomino. Pal Paloma. Paloma. Palomino is like a horse. I don't know what I'm thinking. But it's the Contour and Highlight little kit. And I've looked at this so many times. But it was in my bag. I was so excited. So, I'm really anxious. This is the first time I've even swatched it. I don't know why they call it blush contour because it's clearly a highlight and a highlight and bronzer or contour shade, but I'm so excited about that. So, I'll let you guys know what I think about that product. And then this. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Palette. And I think that this just became available onto Sephora and but it was in our bag and I was so excited oh my gosh Makeup Forever was one of the brands NARS and Makeup Forever both were one of the brands that I was like super stoked that they were going to be there so there's the little palette it's really cute and it has what is it two four six eight different shades in there let's see if I can do this without blinding you guys it kind of reminds me of the um well, the Technicolor palette, like those are the size of the pans. So, um, but I really, really, really am excited to have this, especially this teal and purple shade. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Look at, I'm so excited. There are no words. So yeah, I was, I was really, uh, here's the deal. I was just so grateful and humbled that they give you all this stuff. It's insane. And then they gave me a, a quip, Quevin, a Quevin, a Kevin Aquan, a Quan, um, eyelash curler. So I'll be interested to try that. And then they were like, it was so funny because they were, they told us what all was in the bag and they gave us like a little one minute spiel of why they put it in the bag. But, um, they were so into brows and the, so they gave us two brow products. Of course, the ever so popular Anastasia clear brow gel, which I was excited to get because I'm out of mine. You guys, if you watch my empties videos, you know, like every empties video, I have one of these starting things because I use it pretty much every day. And then this was by the brand Senna and it's called Brow Fix X and it's very interesting. It's called Golden Brown, which I don't know if that's going to work for me, but, um, 
Okay, and I actually went and visited this Cine brand booth and I bought a few other things that I'll show you, but it is kind of like the Gimme Brow, I think, but it's weird. Let's see if I can swatch it. No, I can't. It's weird because it has little bitty like glitter particles, and he said it kind of just gives you dimension to your brows, so I'm really interested to try this and, you know, see what that's all about. The next thing that was in the bag was by Mayron, which is like a really, they're, they're into like fashion shows and costume makeup and stuff like that and it says Barred, Bard, I don't know, um, makeup remover and cleanser so that's cool. I'm excited to try that. Um, Ben Nye Luxury Powder, this huge little tub. Now a while back I bought the banana powder which no girl, it does not work for my skin. I have no yellow undertones. I'm very pale and fair skin so that didn't work. This is in the color Rose Petal so I'll definitely try that out. It's a huge huge little tub huge little tub um and then an OCC lip tar this is in the color meh I have no idea but I love OCC lip tars I will say they're a little high maintenance but if you're looking for like a specific lip color you can create your own by using these this is anime anime so that's cool and it, they always come with like a little lip brush and then I was super excited about getting the Smashbox Be Legendary Longwear Lip Lacquer because I have not tried these yet. I do have a couple like the original Smashbox glosses but not these new ones and the packaging is super cute. I really like the packaging and this is in the color, um, girl, I always say that. I'm like, girl, like y'all can respond to me. Um, it's in the color Beat It. Beat It! Okay, let's swatch it. I haven't even swatched this or opened it or looked at the form. Oh, it's really pretty. Perfect for fall. So yeah, I'm excited to, to test out this formula. I, I haven't tried a lot, a lot of stuff from Smashbox, surprisingly. And then, oh, girl, there is so much stuff. I mean, the Gleam Cosmetics, they gave us like a really, really pretty pigment from them and some lotion. I mean, tons of stuff. There's another single eye. All this stuff was really cute packaged like this. This just makes me smile. Um, so there's like a single eyeshadow from the brand The Perfect Face. I love trying new brands. You know what I mean? And then Crown Brush put a little goodie bag in there with like an eyelash curler and just a few fun things. You know what was really neat is this was in there. It's called the Beauty Butler. I have never heard of this, but if you're like a pro makeup artist, this would be awesome. It's basically a palette, but on the other side, it's Velcro. So you can stick like products you use every day. Painterly Paint Pot. You can put the Velcro. It comes with Velcro, and you can pop it on there. So awesome. I mean, they gave us tons of samples. They gave us a few different brushes. This Amika. I just love this little makeup bag, but it's full of hair products. Like, and it all matches the bag. So there's like dry shampoo and regular shampoo and a nourishing mask but how cute is it that the package of the stuff matches the bag okay so that was the swag bag there's more but um we're already like 10 minutes into this video so let's go ahead and get started on the things that I actually bought I was so excited to go to the makeup forever booth that's the first place we went and I loved that the majority of the booths were giving away these cloth bags so I just think that's really cute and then this one actually had like a little pin on it so the first booth we went to was Makeup Forever and I had to get some more of their new eyeshadows I got a ton of them but you know what okay so you've seen these in the store and you know how they let me show you they sell them like in these type of palettes in the store but at the makeup show you could get one of these big huge 10 palettes and she said they hold 18 and then they had another small one just like this that holds five so I was super excited of course I bought this to pop them all into but it's just magnetic and I'm going to show you I've already put them in there but I'm going to show you the shades I got and yes please oh oh it was so overwhelming because there's there's over 200 shades so it was hard to pick. 
So the first one I got was M530, and I just thought that would be a perfect olive color or brow bone shade. And then M664, oh my goodness, that's just really beautiful for in the crease. The next one is M630. I thought this would be so pretty to deepen up the outer V. And then the next one on the top row is M556. This is gorgeous. No, it's S556. So there is that one right there. Oh, amazing. So excited about these. And then I'm going to go to the bottom row. Girl, there were so many. I was like literally afraid I was going to get multiple of the same shadow because it was there's so many people there so the next one is i628 and you know what she told me she said you don't have to say the letters because like if it's m or i they're not going to be the same number so anyway that's that one and then me658 Woo! this on the lid this is it this to me is one that you could just have a one color eyeshadow look and just put this on the lid and blend it into the crease and bam you're out me554 was really pretty when i swatched it it's just a really unique shade check that out y'all uh it's so pretty and the last one is d826 which is simply amazing for fall <sighs> These shadows are so pretty. I mean, there is that one right there. So, so I got eight shadows and Makeup Forever was 50% off. So that was a really good bargain. And I'm excited to get them. So the next booth we stopped off at was probably the most intense booth at the makeup show. And it was the NARS booth. You guys know that I just picked up a few of the new Audacious lipsticks. And I love the formula. So I really wanted to pick up a few more. However, I only got two there because it was insane by the lipsticks. So I was just like, give me this one, give me this one. The first one I got was Anita because, well, everybody's talking about it. So, of course, I feel like I have to have it. And I do have to have it. It's just the perfect everyday color. So I'm really glad I got that. These, this is one swipe of that lipstick. Amazing. So there is Anita. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's one of those that will go with everything. And it's just a must have girl. And then the next one, I really, I was like, I'm getting it girl anyways. But I was it's kind of a weird color for me, and it's the color Dominique. It's definitely the most unique in the line, um, and when you swatch it, you're like, ah, I don't know. Um, even when you just look at it, it's kind of like a grayish purple. That's what I'm wearing on my lips today. I think that swatched, it looks a lot scarier than it actually does on your lips. I think it looks really, really beautiful on your lips. Even for us fair skin girls, I think, I mean, yeah, I like it. Okay, so there was a girl sitting next, standing next to me, and she was like, I know this is a long shot, but do y'all have the Eda brush? And they said yes. So I finally got the NARS Eda brush, and it was, uh, NARS booth was 30% off. So everybody's seen this, but I have been wanting it and they're always sold out and they had it there and it was 30% off. And I went ahead and picked up another brush. It's the Yokio Kabuki brush. Um, the girl said that the Ida and this one are her, are the two top selling brushes and they were 30% off. I mean, how am I going to pass it? So I like the handle of it and you know what? I think that this would be great for setting your under eyes for also a highlight. For a blush you could even use this to contour with so this is like a really multi-purpose brush and they're super soft and i am so excited that i got those and then the next place we stopped at was i have no idea namies we don't have namies in texas or around dfw area where i live so i stopped at namies and i got a small zebra zebra a small like leopard Z palette because I don't have a small Z palette. I don't even know if this was all from Namie's, but I just threw it all in this bag. It was so crazy. I did get two Lime Crimes lip, lip products. Now, I can't wear their lipsticks. They're too drying, but I did get these Velveteens because I've never tried them. I swatched them, and they are so highly pigmented. This is in the color Wicked, which is perfect for... It's really perfect for the winter. 
I mean, even for the fall, but this will be like every day in the winter. Every Christmas party I go to, yes. And then their newest shade, I believe, I don't follow Lime Crime a lot, but um, I think I heard, I think Leslie, who I was with, I'll list everybody's channel below that I'm talking about, but I think she said that this was their newest shade, and it's in the color Utopia, and it kind of is scary, I'm not going to lie, but... Um, Woof. I mean, that's one swipe of color. They are so highly pigmented. I really hope they're not super drying on my lips. So, I'll keep y'all updated with that. And then, the next few things I got was LA Girl. They had, I don't remember if it was in the Namie's booth or if it was next to it or what. Uh, my right foot is falling asleep. I do have the original five or six of the LA Girl lip paints. But I picked up, they came out with some more and they're just more subdued. They're kind of more nude. And this one is in the color... This reminds me, Clotta, Elude, <laughs> I said Clotta. This is in the color Elude and it's right there. These kind of remind me of the OCC Lip Tars. It's the OCT, OCC Lip Tars and the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks got together, hooked up, had a child. They would be these LA Girl lip paints. This other one that I got is in the color Whisper, and it kind of reminds me of MAC Myth, and it kind of looks scary. I'm not going to lie, but we'll see how those two colors work for me. They're really like some pale pastel colors, and my family is being loud. And then while I was at the LA Girls booth, I mean, these things, the lip paints were like $2, and the concealers were $2. So I did pick up a Pro Conceal, which I have one of these already, and you're like, girl, you got a highlight up under your eyes with that? <laughs> no, I got this to contour with. I thought for cream contour, that would be pretty cool. And then I did get a Dose of Colors lipstick. They were there. I can't, they had their own little section, and I got the color Koi. I see this on Instagram all the time, and it's really, really pretty. It's not season appropriate right now, but I figured since I was there, I would get it. So there it is. My brother-in-law's name is Koi, and it's just, it kind of reminds me of um, MAC Sweet and Sour. So there's that right there. This is going to be the longest haul of life. I did get some of those Senna products. They were a dollar each, so I got two lipsticks, two concealers, and two lip liners. And I'll keep y'all updated on what I think of those products in the future. And I think that's all I got at the, no, I'm a liar. I did go to the eye candy booth and they put some glitter up on my eyes and I of course had to get it. It was three of these glitters plus the primer and the brush for $30. So I got a few of those and then we were like, okay, obviously we didn't shop enough at the makeup show. So let's go shopping some more. So me, Leslie, Laura, and Dana went to the mall and First stop was the Mac store, which we ran into some other fellow YouTubers. I'll list their channels below too, because I was super excited to meet them. But I only got four things from the Mac store. I got the Sweetest Cocoa Blush, because Dana was like, you have to look at this. And I looked at it, and it is the epitome of the perfect fall blush. No joke. So, let me swatch it, because in the pan, you're like, no... I've never even seen this blush like in in the store. I've never even looked at it. So there it is right there. Isn't that beautiful for the fall? Oh my gosh. So I did get that and then I picked up two lipsticks. I got the Brave one because, well, I don't have enough Kylie Jenner colors. Yeah, right. But they had it and they're always sold out. So I went ahead and got that. That is the color Brave. Supposedly Kylie wore Whirl and Brave. That's what the girl told us in the store. So, and then I got a lipstick that I have never heard of before. It's the color Odyssey and it's a frost. And I'm usually not a frost person. But this color, I swatched it. Like I said, I've never seen it. It's almost like a raisin color. And I'm going to swatch it twice. And you'll see why in a second. But I thought it was absolutely stunning. Even though it's a frost, it just looks so pretty. 
So I got that and then um, the girl was like, you need to get date night in the Dazzle Glass. Um, which I only have one other Dazzle Glass, but I love it. And there it is. But I'm going to swatch it on top of Odyssey because you're going to be like, oh my gosh. It's so pretty. This combo, I cannot wait to wear this combo. And I'm going to zoom y'all in so you guys can see how beautiful it is together. It has so much dimension. It's so beautiful. These have little glitter particles in them, but I can't feel them on my lips. So I just think this combo is absolutely perfect. And then we went, our last stop was at Sephora. And by the time we got to Sephora, I was like, oh my gosh, I was so shocked out. And that has never in my life happened to me. So y'all are going to laugh at my Sephora purchases. I um, need, needed some cotton pads. So I got the Shiseido ones. I usually get the um, Mer Merle Norman ones because they're like half the price and they're the same thing but I literally had two at home so I needed to pick up some so I got that and then so exciting I got a night cream or a day cream you can use this for night or day but it's the first aid beauty ultra repair cream and I got this because we were looking and they have like a top sellers or a best sellers for dry skin and um this was on it and you guys this is two ounces and I got it for $12 they had a tub of it and it was six ounces for $28 so I'm really hoping that this helps my dry skin especially in the winter and when it's starting to get colder I'm going to put it on at night and use it as my night cream cream so I will definitely let you know. So that is all I got on my makeup show weekend haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, I'll let you know in future Friday favorites and fails what I think of these products and I will see you soon. Bye!